that's a gilded lily right there. Oh! Was that, was that a new theme song for me? Here comes the road. I got a new theme song. Hell yeah. Give me a second. Just a second. Here comes the Thanks. He's starting to scare me because it's going so well. You know, he's like, everything's going to be fine. He's going to get me later. I, I'm, sure, I'm sure of it. <laughs> your sinister plan at last. How's everybody doing? Good. You know, I, I decided to wear this tonight because, and thank you for all the hooting and hollering gilded lily comments. I'm a clown. I mentioned it earlier. I'm a clown. And this is what most, I guess this is what most people expect when I say I'm a clown. This is what they expect. And truth be told, I show up a lot of places dressed like this. I've been thrown out of some lovely places dressed like this. <laughs> it's true. But, you know, it's a little, it's a little obvious. It's a little expected. There's a couple of people in the back going, he didn't wear the nose. Because apparently that's the trigger for all the phobias. <laughs> but deep down, this is, this is it. It's, it comes from inside and the pants. Check this out. It's like I have a pair of angry squirrels in my pocket. <laughs> yes, I am. I'm really happy to see. We should talk, maybe after the show. Remember to ask for consent. <laughs> Can we talk after the show? We're going to talk. Is that, is that a euphemism? Yes. We're going to do something euphemistically referred to as talking after the show. Congratulations. Thank you. This is good because I kind of ran out of ideas about the time I hit the stage. <laughs> I was like, put on the pants and talk about it being obvious, and then I ran out of ideas. I get why this happens. I mean, once you, you kind of blew your wad, well, I didn't mean that literally. <laughs> I was going to say. No, I didn't mean it literally, but you know, you come up here and you, you get an idea in your head. I'm going to wear the pants and that's done. Or, or worse, I've got an idea and you go, nah, it's too obvious. Obvious. So you go for the second idea. We can't actually do that joke because it's really dirty. <laughs> wouldn't be able to get a word in it. I, yeah. Third thing, probably about dead puppies or something only Johnny Morbid could imagine. Fourth thing. Nailed the dismount, too, I might add. <laughs> you know, fourth thing. Well, that's like an existential crisis. If you're out of four ideas, fifth, fifth idea is probably just hope. And then you're going to look like a schmuck because you had hope on a stage. Don't want the hat. And then you do what, what comes obviously. You go, I don't have any ideas. Of course not. You just threw five of them away trying to get up here. Of course, you don't have any ideas. But there's nothing wrong with the obvious. You guys laughed when I wore the pants. I mean, check the... <laughs> it worked. Nothing wrong with the obvious. The obvious can be good. It can even, it can play into anything. I, I can show you. You guys want to see proof of this? Yeah. Yeah. Do I have your consent to destroy the fourth wall? Yeah. Cool. I need uh, five volunteers right now. Don't even think about it. Just get up here and go. Six. Come on. Okay. I got to do this with six. It's not going to work with six. No, it's going to work with six. We really need seven. Okay. Now, everybody stretch out. Give your, take a step forward from the stage. I know it feels very good to be near me. Hello, audience. Hey. You know that, you know that thing where we give room to all the performers? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, hi. Everybody spread out. Get arms width. It's okay if you follow the lights. The guys on the sides will get to see you. Arms width apart. Arms. Okay. Okay. I've never tried this before in front of people. Stop. Good. Drop your arms. Close your eyes. Now let's see how long we can make them stand. No, no. That'd be rude. We cannot mess with them right now. Keep your eyes closed. 
This is for real. Okay, so what I'm going to do, and I'm not going to stand here. It occurs to me if I stand here, they'll hit me when I do it. What we're going to do is it, I'm going to give them all a simple instruction. You should relax. You look very tense. Look very, just relax. There you go. I'm going to give them all a simple instruction. I'm going to say three, two, one. I'm going to give them an instruction. And they're going to, don't think about it. Don't look at the other guy. Just do the first thing that comes to mind. Don't say anything, but just be that thing. Okay? You guys got it? Everybody got it? So three, two, one, you're old men. Wow. Okay, now stop and look at each other. Everybody look at everybody. Kind of did the, you know, hunched over and they got the canes and the walkers and the weird face. Johnny's got a weird face. No, that's just his face. Oh, yeah, sorry. Get off my love. Yeah, there's the voice. That's, that's pretty good. Okay, everybody wipe it out and stand back normal. Now, close your eyes. You're all the strapping hero of the story. Three, two, one, you're the hero. As you can see, almost everybody did exactly the same thing. <laughs> All right, wipe it out, wipe it out. One more, we'll do one more. This one, this should, one should come very organically to everyone about now. Three, two, one, you're very afraid. <laughs> of him. All right, give our improvisers a hand and a shirt. Well, that, that worked far better than I anticipated because we got a man half naked. And that made the entire audience And the fear was very organically driven. The, 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 uh, the, I thought I was a hairy guy. I feel better. <laughs> no. But the point is, we saw beyond, beyond one very strong decision. I saw a good decision. First thing, he clearly didn't hesitate. Bravo. Big round for that. But we also saw a lot of commonalities in body language. The old people, the hero, afraid. They're obvious. There's nothing really wrong with obvious. I think it's pretty obvious that all of those things worked. They were good decisions. When you get up here, your mind goes blank. You throw away five ideas because you don't want to be obvious. What's neat about obvious is it gives you somewhere to go. At least you started. At least you got up on the stage and, man, you did a lot. <laughs> I mean, I don't need no excuse. But it was amazing. It was amazing. And the point is, we all, we all got to see stuff. And the reason why those obvious decisions work is they resonate with all of us. I mean, especially the shirt off thing. I didn't expect that. <laughs> No one expected it, but we all got it <laughs> right here. <laughs> They're good decisions, but it's very easy to lock up because you're not making any decisions. Do me a favor as you watch performers tonight and realize that each and every one of them is making a decision to get up here. They're bringing with them a character that's themselves. Even if they're not playing a character, they're being something. Give them that respect and, and look at what we can do. And especially if you go, oh, yeah, I kind of saw that one come and realize, yeah, you got to feel smart. Except we all felt surprised because we had no idea that was going <laughs> to That's the idea. You guys get it? Yeah. Good. Let's do something obvious. Welcome to the open stage. Yeah.